It's Chuck and I'm back out of the shop. We've been doing a lot of trolling up here. Uh, all in Michigan water. Haven't had to go anywhere. Honestly, I couldn't if I wanted to because I didn't pull the trigger fast enough on a state of Ohio out-of-state license. Um, so no jigging, no trolling on the reefs. Uh, all our fun's been right here in Michigan. So tonight I'm going to talk about planer boards. And I will touch on one of the stern planers uh, as we get along. But what I want to talk about is three specific planer boards from church that makes your walleye fishing easier. All right. First one, the TX-12. And I've got the rubber band on there because I'm installing a flag kit, but I just wanted you to see what it looked like without it. This is one of the favorites of the charter captains, uh, Ken Clark comes down stays here quite a bit and that's all he runs this is just this little board mini planer uh, it is so easy for his clients to read uh, you know most of them are novices they don't do this for a living uh, they aren't out there uh, whenever they get a chance you know they're going out there to learn from the captain so he has these set up all right, and it's got the factory clip. You just put your line from the rod there. Slide the line right through that little gap right there. Close that pin. They're not losing these things. Right. Another reason he likes these is his head's on a swivel. You know, he's checking lines, watching his down rods. It's easy for him to spot this and say, uh, yeah, go check that, will you? It's also really easy for his clients to see. You know, like I mentioned, most of them are novices. You know, they're out there for a good time and to learn. So don't get me wrong. They're out there to learn how to troll. And there's not a planer board out there that's easier to learn than the TX-12 mini planer. Why? All right. I said Ken's head is on a swivel. Well, it's easy for him to spot this as this goes down. It's also easy for his clients to spot it. You know, it might be the wrong flavor of bass, perch, you know, silver, white, whatever you want to call them, junk fish. And, of course, it might have a walleye on it. So those clients are going to be able to read that, right? They're going to see it drop back. They're going to see it rock like this, or they're going to see it go whoop, all the way down. So it's really easy to use the TX-24. And with this board, uh, Ken's got a program. He's running the number one Stingray weights from church. The number two Stingray. Okay, just for the heck of it. On his down rods, he's running the number three. How I know this? Because a lot of times I go out with him and help out. I've got, as you could tell, I've started to build that one. I've got the flag kits on mine. All right? I love the flag kits. It's just... Yes, it's easy to read the board. It's still easier just to see that go down. You know, I can adjust it for the ones or the twos. There is a spring in the back right here. And if I'm using a heavier weight or if I decide I'm going to go faster, I will drop that spring back into one of these holes back here and adjust it perfectly. You still put your line in the clamp. Slide it through the notch, close the pin. Then you take about a foot of loose line from the board to the lure, pull it back, clip that on, and that slack in the line allows that board or that flag to rock back and forth, telltelling whether you got a fish on or not. Okay, just for reference, if I wanted to run a number 10 or maybe a number 20 jet diver on it, from Lure Jensen, I could do that with this board, no problem, no matter how fast I want to go. This is the TX-22. This is Church's middle, middle one in the family. I consider this like the ultimate crankbait uh, planter board. It's got the double action flag kit. I've got, as you can see with the 12, I've got mine set to go down this way. I actually think it would be easier to tell if a fish was on if it popped up. 
but if you've been on the lake at all, you've seen all the traffic that's been out there lately. And this just helps boats coming at you see this board a little bit better. So I run it with the flag up. This one has the mini lockjaw clamp on it, snap. And it just locks into place and that line is not coming off. I mean, it is locked in tight. All right. Still pull the pin. Still set this up the same. All right. And what I can do with this is pretty universal. All spring long, I have been running uh, Rafla's new Deep Husky Jerk 14. And we did really good with this perch color in cloudy water. This is one of the UV patterns that they have. Sunny, sunny, it wasn't so hot. Um, but you can tell the difference between the 14 and the 12. That purple perch is just an all-star. It's like one of the best color patterns they ever came out. But you can see the size difference. Right? And those fish have been loving this bigger profile. And I'm not talking just 30-inch fish. I'm talking the 18 to 24s also. So those little fish are not intimidated by this big bait. I can also run that bait with one of my high action cranks. This is the deep tail dancer number 11. I could run it with the smaller nine. Why run small baits when you can get the big fish? Warmer water, more action on the lure. I could run a 20. I could run these 30s. All right, and I told you I was going to bring in the, this is the 007 stern planer. It's not part of the three I was going to talk about, but I do love running a crawler harness with a jet diver away from the boat. One reason I use the jet with these is that line is going to be further out behind the stern planer, and that stern planer is going to be 100 to 200 feet back. And I know they usually say 150, 175. Well, I still like getting the fish in as fast as possible, less chance of losing them, etc. And I don't run spoons, so I'm not going to worry about cranking too fast with those. But if I wanted to run a heavier one, this is the number 40. I usually just run clear. You know, the second best one might be black. Uh, don't get fooled by the bright colors. I'm only doing this because I have them, and I was just showing you the difference in size. It was just a little bit easier to point out. <clears throat> Same board, TX-22. It's got the original clip on it. I'm just running mono with this. This is my nighttime setup. A lot of times when you fish for night at night, you can't see your boards. Uh, I'm going to be fishing the fall brawl again this year. I'm all signed up. So what this does for me is this allows me to see my board while I'm running at night. I'm going to put on something that rattles. I'm going to put on a really loud lure. And then I'm going to turn on this little light. You can see it. That's easy to see from a distance. You know, I might be 125, 150 feet away from the boat with my outside one. Especially now that Ohio lets us use three rods. So I'm running at night, I'm running my crank, and whew, whew, yay, not too shabby. Red port, yellow starboard, just like your buoys, easy to remember. The TX-24, or the walleye board. Okay, this is probably the most famous board that Church makes, it's one of the originals, and it was used quite a bit back in the day by pro anglers that were doing the RCL, uh, Ranger Crestliner Lund series, the old PWT series, you know, everybody remembers in Fisherman back in the day. It's got the double action flag kit, and I'm hitting the top, so I got to do a little work on that flag, just bend it back. Mini lock jaw. Now I could go with the original one, which is a little bit longer. But I go with the minis. It's pretty close to the same size as the normal snap from the factory. But if I wanted to, I could go with the big one. All right. Now, I showed you with the spring on the TX-12. 
This is the same system on the 22 as the walleye board. So if I'm running a heavier weight or if I'm running faster or I'm going faster with like a deep action lure, uh, like that 12 or a deep tail dancer 11, I can set this a little harder. And what I mean by harder is harder for it to pull back so it will stay up in one spot. There we go. So here it is. This is your tension. Real easy. You know, it's one of the simplest double action flag systems on the market. All I got to do is slide this down. You know, normal speeds, 1, 3, 1, 5. I call that the 5 o'clock position. But if I'm going to be running a little faster, I might go 6. I might even go 7. So I've got a lot of tension on that flag. And when I got a bigger lure pulling back on that, you can tell. I'm pulling that just as much as I was at the lighter action. And it's reacting to that tension so great option all right why do i have the walleye board well it was the first one i ever bought myself you know back in the day at cabela's where i picked them up uh you know i had my set of four and then uh, uh michigan went to three rods and i went to gander mountain up in taylor and i picked up two more i was like this is a cat's meow it is universal. Right. See that sliding lead keel? I can unscrew these, slide that weight forward, and I can run that big number 40 at high speed if I was going to do a spoon. I don't do spoons. Or I could drop a number four pencil weight on a, a snap weight system, use that original lock jaw, the big one, clamp that on, drop it down. It's not coming off. I don't care how big the fish is. I don't care if you're dragging rocks. It ain't popping. <clears throat> and then I mentioned about the fall brawl. You know, we might be in 40 feet of water. I'm not letting 250 feet of line out just to get a lure down. You know, besides that, the curve starts to flatten out the more line you let out to a certain depth. So I could drop this six ounce pencil weight and that board's going to handle it. Handle it with ease. All I gotta do is slide that lead keel forward. All right. And of course, I can run the number three on there, the stingray. Um, so, walleye board, just universal. You can make it do just about anything. You know, even if you're salmon fishing, which I don't do, you could run lead core on that. Uh, you might be able to run wire on it. All right. The 22s are my favorite. They're kind of like in the tweener. Um, this might be the board for you. you know, it will handle up to a three ounce weight, no problem whatsoever. The old snap weight systems from church ran up to three ounce, uh, two ounce all day long. You know, that might be the most universal. And, you know, you can check your app on your phone as far as what, you know, 50, 50, 30, 30, that kind of thing. Um, the TX-12, it's got a strong following not only in the Midwest when it comes to walleye, but folks down south are using these for crappie fishing. You know, they're trolling for crappie. They're going over little weed beds. You know, we were supposed to be up there for a Burton mullet for the championship this year on the Michigan Walleye Tour. That was going to be my go-to board. You know, shallow water running over the top of weed beds. You know, just a nice little board. And then again, if you are new to walleye fishing and new to trolling with planer boards, it's so nice to be able to learn with such a board that reads so nicely. You know, you see everything. All right. So that's it when it comes to planer boards. These are the three from Church Tackle, plus I talked about the TX007, uh, the Stern planer. Um, they also make a 005, which would be nice for the lakes also. Uh Next time, we'll talk more about cranks. Uh, maybe still get into some jigging. Detroit River is on fire right now. Uh, there's a wide range of topics that might be up. So, till next time.